my dear students of B.Sc. third semester. So our next topic is that is uh, Stephen's law from Planck's law. So in the previous lecture we have derived the means displacement law from Planck's law. So Planck's law for black body radiation is very important. Yeah, and it's a uh, last concept. So last that is the value of e lambda, d lambda, and e nu, d nu. That is very very important. So from that we have uh, derived Rayleigh's law and then uh, we use displacement now uh, law then Stephen's law. Yeah. So first, uh, how can you define this law? So according to this law, according to this law, the rate of emission of rate of emission of radiant energy energy which is radiated radiant energy is directly of black body of black body is directly proportional to directly proportional to fourth power of two fourth power of temperature absolute temperature you can say absolute temperature that is t absolute temperature that is equal to t so from this you can say E is radiant energy E that is directly proportional to T4 or this implies E is equal to sigma T4 where this sigma is called is called Stephen's constant is called Stephen's constant clear see so you can find out the units of this by you know the units of energy density, you know the units of temperature. Now, how we can uh, deduce it from Planck's law? So we know the Planck's law in terms of uh, you know frequency. Okay. So Planck's law in terms of frequency. Planck's law in terms of frequency means between the frequency nu and nu plus d nu okay discrete values between nu and uh, nu plus d nu so e nu d nu that is equal to 8 pi h uh, nu cube upon e raised to power h nu upon kt minus 1 and something is here that is c cube that is Mu cube e is for h nu upon kt d nu there is also here. So this is the energy density of black body radiation in a container in an enclosure having frequency nu and nu plus d nu. But now we want the total radiated energy. So to go to total energy radiated, we uh, have the frequencies but oh, all the frequencies so between all the frequencies or you can say between the frequencies 0 to infinity so total energy energy radiant uh, energy total energy radi uh, rate of emission of radiant energy so energy radiant that is total energy that is uh, energy density you can say total energy density here yeah, total energy density uh, between 0 to infinity frequencies for all frequencies you can say for for all frequencies for all frequencies 0 to infinity 0 to infinity that is equal to we differentiated with respect to continuous values on here. They are continuous values. So we, so not differentiated, we integrated. So that is integration of, integration of uh, total energy that is here, you can say E. 
e dash या e that is equal to zero to infinity this e lam e u d u e u d u that is equal to zero to infinity e u d u is eight pi x is constant that is outside eight pi x upon c q zero to infinity yes d u upon uh, into nu cube e raised to power h nu upon kt minus 1. Now we have to solve this integration. How you can solve this integration? So put, write down, put, put uh, h nu upon kt, h nu upon kt that is equal to x. When you put it at x, nu when limits, uh, nu is 0, x is 0. When u is infinity, x is infinity. So limits are same. Now differentiate it, uh, it with respect to mu. So that is equal to h upon kt. That is equal to dx over d mu. dx over d mu. We differentiate it with respect to uh, this uh, h over kt with respect to d mu. dx over d mu. So from this the value of d mu that is equal to kt upon h into dx. So this is the value of h nu. This is the value of x. So put here that is equal to 8 pi h over c cube. 0 to infinity limits are same mu cube. So mu cube is kt x over h. So from this mu is equal to kt x upon h. So mu cube that is kt x upon h cube here yeah. d nu upon e raised to power h nu upon kt that is equal to x x minus 1 and d nu d nu is kt upon h by kt by h into dx so we have this now we have to solve this integration we have to solve this integration so solve this integration how to, uh, we can solve this integration uh, Yes, the constant take the constant terms outside that is equal to 8 pi h 8 pi h upon c q. Yes, kt upon h kt upon h. So this is kt upon h power 4. Kt upon h power 4. So inside the bracket, uh, inside the integration is 0 to infinity x q over e raised to power x minus 1. Dx. So this is our uh, value of total energy density E dash. Yes. Uh, yes. This is our value. You can cut h with this h. You can. Yes. What is this? This is a standard integral and its value we know that we have used uh, also in device model of specific heat. This is also used. So 0 to infinity x cube upon e raised to power x minus 1 dx. This is equal to pi 4 over 50. So CTM carry to memory. CTM carry to memory there. CTM pi 4 by 15. So put here pi 4 by 15. So e dash that is equal to 8 pi x over c cube kt upon h power 4 into pi 4 by 15. So here is t4. So all other terms are constant. All other terms are constant. So you can put other values as a and uh, this is t4. Only t4. So t4. So this is total energy density. Total energy density. But we want the rate of emission of radiant energy. So total energy density is this. And rate of emission of uh, energy, uh, rate of emission of radiant energy is directly proportional to this energy. So you can write here, rate of, rate of, rate of, I write it A, E, I write it E dash. No? So rate of emission of, emission of, Radiant energy, radiant energy E, this E, this E, this is equal to, I take 
this uh, you, uh, as symbol e dash and take this as e. So this e is directly proportional to this e dash. So this e dash, this e dash is directly proportional to t4. So it means e is directly proportional to t4. And the constant of proportionality that is here sigma, that is sigma, which is called Stephen's constant, which is called Stephen's constant. So this is the Stephen's law, and uh, the this law is used to find out the surface temperature of the sun, surface temperature of the sun, and uh, the mean displacement law is used to find out the temperature of inaccessible ob objects like uh, the surface temperature of the uh, you can say uh, stars so these are the applications of uh, stephen's law and means displacement thank you very much